you've got content coming in from the from the elite super successful from the wealthy from these great minds like a Gary Vaynerchuk like a Andy Frisella that you know I love those guys you've got um, you know all the different all the different people that people are consuming content from the problem is it becomes unrelatable for that 75 to you know 250 or that 50 to 250 thousand dollar income it it's a it it becomes unrelatable because they are so far ahead of where that person may be at that point in their life. The most important thing that I, I just took away from, from what you just said is the majority of people, whenever they use that line of it's what I did, not who I am, they're referring to something negative, right? Like everybody, like, you know, the affair, the addiction, the whatever that, you know, that that's what I did. That's not who I am. But you were referring to your successes in that way, which I think is so interesting and refreshing. Um, it's such a, it's such a integrity filled motive. Basically it's saying that these are all the things that that I did and yeah, they're, they were great and I'm glad I got to do those, but here's the real story and here's the impact that I really want to make because that's what, that's the surface level. But what, well, well, think about it. If I come on this podcast and tell stories from the Super Bowl and tell stories of, you know, how I, you know, set a Super Bowl record in the biggest game of my life and, you know, how I was the fittest man in the NFL, according to muscle and fitness and all these other little things that, that I achieved. You think that's really going to inspire people like genuinely authentically you think that's going to inspire somebody to to go out and, and do the same thing no because it's not relatable I, it's not relatable like it's not even in the same universe of being able to touch it yeah it's like at such a high level and i'm not saying that to like self-promote at all i'm actually saying that because i am this far away from being that 14 year old kid in 108 pounds and being <laughs> so depressed at almost every single thing in my life except for sports. There's this void in, in information being distributed to the 50, 75,000 to $250,000 in annual income <clears throat> individual in that it's not as relatable as it could be or as it should be. And so what I knew and, and where my passion now lies is in the fact that you know over the last two years I have made the transition. I've gone from being unemployed, you know, to 450,000 in income, and and I was heads down and focused in building that business, and and didn't document any of that uh, on social media. And so now moving forward, I can I can you know go from being heads down to lift my head up, and I can say, okay, I've done something here. I'm at that 450 mark now. And so what, what I know that I can do, or what I believe that I can do, is that I can put out content, valuable content that people will be able to actually use, but I can put it out in a way that is relatable to that 50, that 75 to $250,000 income range, because I just, just went through there. I just came on the other side of that. I've just, just surpassed that and the majority of my daily activities and the majority of the way I think and act are, are still what I was doing in that in, in that time frame 